Sure. Yeah, I don't think the results of the study mean that we have to eliminate processed foods, uh, meats, or regular red meats that have been processed from our diet, but it helps us to keep in mind the importance of moderation and perhaps reducing our exposure to these processed meats. Uh, I don't think it took a study to tell us that bacon was bad for us. I think everybody knew bacon was bad for us, but it's delicious and it's still reasonable to occasionally eat bacon and sausages, hot dogs, you name it, but we may want to scale back how much exposure we have, particularly to these processed versions of meat. To put it in perspective, there's a lot of other things we do on a daily basis that probably carry a higher risk than those processed meats. Even flying, every time you get in an airplane, you're exposing yourself to slightly higher levels of radiation, which have been shown to have increased carcinogenic effects. Alcohol, another example, actually increases your relative risk of breast cancer by more than do processed meats to your colorectal cancer. People aren't gonna wanna hear that, I realize, but that's the fact. <laughs> so keep in mind that it, you know, you're still reasonable to uh, expose yourself to these meats, but you don't have to, uh, you, you should be aware not to overdo it. The announcement basically says that there's enough evidence now to say that processed meats cause cancer in humans and that red meat is also a probable cause. The risk seems to increase with the amount of servings that are consumed. Uh, this is not really news to us. We've known this uh, link between meat intake and uh, certain cancers, uh, the risk of certain cancers for a long time. But this is really significant because it is an amalgamation of 800 studies that have been reviewed by 22 international experts. The experts basically um, summarized uh, their findings in that it, it appears to, uh, to be that your intake of 1.8 ounces of processed meats uh, consumed daily increases the risk of colon cancer by 18%. Uh, that's only two slices of ham consumed daily. And uh, the consumption of three and a half ounces of red meat consumed daily, that's only about the size of a small burger, seems to increase the cancer risk by 17%. So although red meat is uh, very high in protein, iron, zinc, and certain B vitamins, uh, if you consume red meat daily, it's probably a good idea to reduce your intake to about two to three times a week max. Uh, but of course, uh, specific recommendations depends on your risk factors. It is advisable that you try to choose high quality lean cuts of meat that are grass fed most of the time. Watch the way you cook your meat. Try not to char your meat or overcook it to the, to the point where it's burnt because that seems to increase carcinogens in the foods. And uh, try to uh, focus on more whole foods, a varied balanced diet that is high in fiber, that seems to be protective. And in terms of processed meats, we want to try to avoid them as much as possible, but if you really need processed meats for convenience, I get it, I understand people need con more convenient foods, uh, it would probably be a good idea if you can try to get uncured meats or uncured bacon or ham as much as possible versus the, the processed ones that have a lot of uh, nitrites ha added to them as preservatives to increase their shelf life. So top priorities in terms of cancer prevention remains stopping smoking if you're, if you're a smoker, uh, eating a balanced, varied diet that is mostly plant-based, um, uh, reducing alcohol intake to a maximum of two drinks per day, and exercising regularly.